In 2021, one in four American Jews reported that they faced anti-Semitism in the past year. Whether it's online, offline, or in person, from offhanded remarks to physical threats, anti-Semitism is a real, persistent, and growing danger. Some anti-Semitism is up front and in your face, so much so that if it weren't so scary, it might be comical. Yet anti-Semitism can also be sneaky, which means that the biggest danger is the anti-Semitism that has become so deeply embedded in the culture that we don't even notice it. But we have to call it out because we've seen what happens when anti-Semitism is allowed to fester. So here they are, eight sneaky and a few not so sneaky forms of anti-Semitism. It's time to shine a bright light on all of them and expose them for what they really are. Number one. The complimentary stereotype. Ever had someone tell you that all Jews are wealthy and successful? That they've got higher IQs and better socioeconomic outcomes? It sounds so nice, right? Surely those are compliments. Think again. Spotlight. That model minority myth is anti-Semitism. Number two, but they're so powerful. Ever heard that Jews are so powerful that they control everything from the media to the banks to global politics? Spotlight, would there really be anti-Semitism if they were really that powerful? Number three, there is intersectionality of Jewish and white privilege. Ever heard that Jews enjoy Jewish privilege and white privilege that helps them uphold white supremacy? Spotlight, that's anti-Semitism. Jews come in all colors and nationalities. Number four, money, money, money. The image of the greedy Jew is really old and really ugly. If you hear someone making a generalized statement about Jews being cheap or obsessed with money or unethical in business. Spotlight, that's anti-Semitism. Number five, but it's for social justice. There are lots of legitimate ways to protest the policies of the Israeli government, but attacking Jews on the street, vandalizing Jewish institutions, or using words like apartheid, genocide, and baby killers when talking about Jews. Spotlight, anti-Semitism. Number six, they've got a point though. Have you ever seen people protest against Orthodox Jews moving into their neighborhood or heard folks link Jewish people to gentrification or other urban issues? Spotlight, that's anti-Semitism. Number seven, middle of the sandwich. A phenomenon of our time, the anti-Semitism wheel goes full circle. White supremacists and progressive anti-Zionists have one thing in common. Spotlight, they both use the same language and promote the same hatred. Number eight, the Great Replacement Theory. Have you ever heard someone say that the Jews are polluting Western culture? That they're slowly but surely replacing white people? That they're encouraging immigration from non-white countries in order to destroy white culture? Spotlight. That kind of rhetoric is not only anti-Semitic, but it's also racist, promotes violence and murder, and threatens everyone in our society. Bottom line. Anti-Semitism is lurking behind well-meaning compliments, tired old stereotypes, social justice crusades, and concerns about Western culture. Anti-Semitism also fuels racism, bias, and promotes hate and violence. Now that you know how to spot anti-Semitism, what are you going to do? Shine a light on it, call it out, dispel the darkness. Join the movement to shine a light on anti-Semitism.